Hey everyone, this is Stephen KC Railpin here, and welcome to another Scale Trains product review. Because I know I did a, a video on my CSX Tier 4 a while back, so now I have another locomotive because this locomotive is actually a locomotive that sold out really, really fast, and I couldn't resist getting one. But because I did pre order this, but unfortunately I canceled it just because I wasn't ready to pay for it, so I ended up finding one anyways. So you're wondering, this is actually an ES44 locomotive from Skeletrain's Rivet Counter line. So you wonder what it is. It's right here. It is a Ferromex ES44 AC in the new Zebra scheme. So I've been, after three weeks of looking for one, because I know they sold out on the Skeletrain's website, I ordered this off of Hiawatha Hobbies. So even though, even though I did spend a little bit too much, you know, spend so first I get the CSX tier four, two days later I get this locomotive. <laughs> so that was a little bit too much I spent, so so anyway, but I'm still relieved that I was able to get one. Cause you know, because I've always been wanting a Ferromex locomotive and now I officially have my first Ferromex. So there it is. So now I'm gonna just set the camera down and unbox it for you guys. So I'm just gonna just take this off. And it comes with the upper manual. I can show you guys. And then the foam. And there it is. There's the locomotive. Looks very stunning. Look at that. I gotta say, Scale Trains did a really good job packaging this. So, now I'm gonna get it out of the box. So. And, you, and as always, you just slide out like that. And it comes with this little Ziploc bag of protein bearing caps. Since it's a rubber counter locomotive. Then you just open up here. And there it is. There's the locomotive. So it did ha it did have a little bit of a damage because the handrail somehow came off. So I'm gonna see if I can try and fix that. So once I get that fixed, we'll begin the review. Okay, so starting off with the front of the locomotive, because there as you can see, being a rivet counter, it's got lots of details installed. Because you can see it's got the couplers, MU hoses, train light hoses, ditch lights, which in the headlights are LED, grab irons, you can see. You can also can see the windshield wipers, and if you're wondering what's what are these between the windows, these are actually called anti-vandalism grills because apparently, as you know, in Mexico, in Mexico, since this is a Ferromex local and Ferromex is a Mexican railroad, people the people in Mexico like to like vandalize trains because they show no respect to the railroads because I don't know I don't know why they why they don't like the trains and then. And then people would like to throw rocks at the wind at the train, so that's why they put these to prevent the windows being shattered. So, so they added these. So, let me give you a closer look. This is actually really well done because for the first time, Scale Trains is is probably the first company to ever do these. Because you look at that, it's very nicely done. So you can see the windshield wipers, it's also got a cab interior. And I think, and then there's also a data recorder right there. And this thing, right here. I, from what I heard, I heard these are like, you know, like, cameras. That are usually seen, because I, because from what I heard about these Ferromex locomotives, because I have done some research, is that these things right here, this little thing, People also like to steal, like, diesel fuel from the locomotives, so that's why they put these cameras to keep a lookout for vandals or thieves who like to, who try to do things like stealing diesel fuel. Because, you know, me you know how Mexico is usually filled with lots of, like, Darwin candidates and such, and, then, and people who show no respect to the railroads. So, that's a pretty cool, unique history with Ferromex. So, it's also got a random on the t a dome on the top, and... 
K5HL horn and let me show you the detail it's very unique and as you can see there's some very interesting to here absolutely amazing trucks are nicely done it's got walk through steps we love the snow plow they did fuel tank everything's really nice it's got see-through well, trucks are nicely done. Let me show you the, the back side. So, it's also got the head, lower headlights, ditch, rear headlights, no ditch lights. Lots of good detail here. Very nice. Let me show you the back. But back side's really nicely done. And uh, so now I'm going to flip the locomotive around. So here's the other side. I'll give you another look. The, fuel t the trucks and fuel tank. And there's the Evo. Lots of good detail. That's the brake wheel. And all that. And then let me show you the anti-vandalism grills. Wow, this is really nicely done. I just really love the the fact these anti vandalism girls that that scale trains put on on these Baromex locomotives. Let me see. Everything, look at all that detail, wow. This is absolutely really nice. So, now I, we went up to a little bit of a review of all the features. Let's try running this locomotive. So, as you see, it's got the LEDs, looks very nice. So let's. So, as you see, my example is this DCC ready. It runs very nice. Very nice running locomotive. I just really like the new LED lights. Right. It runs very nice. So, now I'm going to show you the, the rear. The rear headlight, so I'm just gonna turn the locomotive around. So here it goes. Oh. As you can see, there it is. Looks very nice. So there it is. So now. Since it's a river counter locomotive, I probably should zoom in a little bit so I'll show you the bearing caps that because they do rotate. So here it goes. So if you look carefully. So I'm gonna move it slow motion so you can see it. That's really, that's actually a really good feature for a scale trans counter locomotive. And there it is. So. So. There it is. So that's basically going to be the review of the scale trans counter, the ES-44 locomotive in the Baramex Zebra scheme. So I thought. Because, you know, I've always been fascinated with the with Baramex because this is actually the very first Baramex locomotive I have. Because I've always wanted to get like a Baramex, like either a Jeeva or an Ace, but however, 
never gotten the, but I keep missing out my chances on getting one just because, and obviously they're getting very, very much local ones are getting very hard to find. Especially for like, you know, like mainline power ones, especially the Jeevos. And I'm, and also as, from what I heard, the AC 4100s are getting quite rare too, even though those can only run in Mexico, they can never run into the United States or up to Canada for some reason. I think it's just a regulation, federal regulation, I think. So, let me just zoom up. So there it is. Because I'm actually very impressed with this locomotive and motive and it's very nicely detailed and my favorite thing about it is obviously anti-vandalism grills because this is actually the first first time I've seen a model railroad manufacturer actually doing that and it's just a really nice locomotive and and personally I actually seem to like the new Fer the new Ferramex Zero scheme because I think it looks really really nice but even, and I, but I still do like the original scheme, like the scheme that they came out with, like the, like the original blue and, like the original red and green scheme. But this is actually top notch, because I just, I'm really glad with Skeletrains' work on this, and then with all the detailing and trying to get the, get it to match the prototype and all that, so. And this is actually really nice, I can't wait to run this more often, like using it as foreign power in my layout, because I've been seeing Ferromix a lot lately, but they're mostly I see them on BNSF trains. So, so anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Scale Trains River Counter Ferromix ES4 for AC in the new Zebra scheme. I'll leave you guys a little bit of a run by in this in action, and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, bye.